Hello there, my name is Mr. Smartonkey. Welcome to another episode of Weapons of the Wasteland. After doing the hunting rifle last time, it seems you guys really want to see the sniper rifle next, so let's see the differences. So as always, I'll start off by showing you guys the scopes. So there's only really three of them. Of course, I'm not going to show you guys the sights because we've already gone over them on the hunting rifle video. So the scopes, there's just a regular scope. I'm, I'm, I'm only going to show you guys uh, one version of each one. So of course, there's a short scope, which is this one. You've got a medium range and a long range as well. Then we have the night vision, of which there is also short, medium, and long range. And then we have the recon scope, which is uh, only short and long range. And of course, this one gives you red dots when you hover over enemies to keep track of them. So this is the first time we're actually going to uh, make a gun or upgrade a gun before we go into combat. Because of course, the sniper rifle is made out of a hunting rifle, so we're going to know how to make the sniper ri rifle first of all. So the only thing you have to change is you have to go from a short barrel to a long barrel, or any of the other barrels, but we're going to go for a long barrel because it doesn't have any gun nut requirements. And you have to go from the sights to a short scope. And there you go, and there's the sniper rifle. So now let's watch how it does in action. So we have seen the regular sniper rifle being made, uh, which is a first in this series. It's time to see it in action. So it is going to be very similar to the hunting rifle because, of course, it is essentially at this point in time the same gun. The only thing we've done is that we put a long uh, barrel on it and we put a scope on it, a short scope, of course. Um, one thing you'll notice immediately, perhaps, is that the um, arena is a little bit longer. I've made it a little bit... Um, it's basically twice the size in length. Um, the width is still the same. It doesn't really come into play too much, it just means that I have a, a bit of a longer time before the enemies are uh, on me, because otherwise the sniper is a bit hard to show off, basically. But anyway, statistics, uh, we have 37 damage, 3 fire rate, 250 range, and 92 accuracy. Um, again, pretty similar. The accuracy has gone up a little bit for the hunting rifle because we're using a scope, of course, which does add up to the, the um, rate or the accuracy quite a bit. Um, but yeah, all the enemies go down fairly easily, of course, with headshots, especially the raiders. I took all of them out with one headshot. I'm do that with every single one of these upgrades. And of course, the vets is still in the game as well. I actually managed to shoot at him three times with this one. Uh, and I do the second one as a critical, and the third one as a regular shot, because the other ones only have two shots on vets. So now that we've seen the regular sniper rifle in action, it's time to perform some upgrades. So this video, I'm going to tr probably try and go a little bit faster through the upgrades because we've already seen most of these upgrades done on the hunting rifle video. Of course, it's, of course because of course it's the same gun. As you can see, we're going to start from the short hunting rifle every single time uh, when we do these upgrades. It's just it's based off of that. So the previous video already, I already went over most of the upgrades and why I went for those things. So I don't really need to do that again for this one. So we're just going to go through them. Uh, a little faster than before. So we're going to go for the powerful receiver. The requirements for this is gun not rank 1, by the way. We're going to go for the gun not rank 1 for this first one, gun not rank 2, gun not rank 3 for the other guns, because uh, I want to show off the latest, uh, well, upgrades that you can perform with this weapon. So we're going to go for the powerful instead of hardened, because it just does a whole lot more damage. No reason not to go for that, if you have the resources, of course. For the barrel, we're going to go for a long light barrel. Superior range and sighted accuracy, better recoil, not too important, and the restate fire actually, no one really cares about that. The short stock would go for a uh, full stock. Of course, recoil doesn't matter too much because it's a, a bolt action gun, is what I mean. Uh, full stock because better recoil. Again, not too big a deal though. Magazine, I'm actually going to go for the quick uh, quick eject mag. I could go for the large magazine, um, but I actually prefer having the quick eject mag. I, I, I think this might even be better, but the thing is, I, <laughs> um, I already made these guns beforehand and I kind of made a mistake there. So on the left of this screen you'll see that I've went for a quick eject mag so I'm gonna go for that right now otherwise I have to remake all those video or all those um, screenshots and stuff and I can't be bothered so I'm gonna go for a quick eject, eject mag but please feel free to go for a large magazine if you prefer that for the sights we're gonna go for a medium scope um, we I think that's the only option we have for uh, gun at rank one yeah it is the rest is all gun at rank two or lower and higher of course and for the muzzle, we're not going to go for anything, because same reason as before, uh, the bayonet produces range. These three uh, are required gun not rank 2, and I'm not actually going to go for these at all, because I've realized that they really aren't that useful at all. So I'm, gonna go, I'm not going to go for those, um, even on the gun not rank 2 requirement gun. So anyway, that is the quick, powerful sniper rifle. So it's time to find out how the quick, powerful sniper rifle does in action in comparison to the regular sniper rifle. So we've already, because this has gun not rank 1 upgrades, of course, we've already gone up a lot in damage from 37 to 55. And that's a pretty significant difference right there. The fire rate and range are the same. Free fire rate, 215 range and 98 accuracy has gone up because we're using the medium scope instead of the light scope. 
But besides that, the gun is still pretty similar. We take care of the ghouls a little bit easier than before, though. Uh, the raiders, once again, all go down with a single headshot. I actually, like, made it a thing to just do that ev with every one of these guns, basically. I just take all of them out of with headshots only. Uh, the super mutant gets a lot more, takes a lot more damage uh, from the headshots, sneak critical, uh, with this quick powerful sniper rifle. There's a massive difference there. And from this one point onwards, we can only actually fire twice in vets as well, so the second shot is now critical. So we have seen a quick powerful sniper rifle in action. It's time to go for the next upgrade. So these re upgrades require gun nut rank 2. Once again, uh, similar upgrades to what we've already done before. So we're going to go for the calibrated powerful receiver. So of course this has the superior damage the powerful receiver has and also has the better critical shot damage and accuracy bonus that the calibrated receiver gives. And combinated or combination wise it's a it's a very good one i really like this actually the, the critical shot damage is absolutely insane as you'll see in a minute as well for the barrel we're going to go for a long ported barrel again reasons we've already discussed in the hunting rifle video if you haven't seen that one i really recommend watching that one it's in the playlist links in the description for that the stock we're going to go for the marksman stock now this actually is going to become very important because this uh, actually gets better aim with scope so now that we're using scopes because we're using an actual proper sniper rifle this will actually be uh, somewhat important the hunting rifle wasn't as important because we didn't use scopes but now we do the magazine we're going to go for a medium medium quick eject mag um, because it's gonna rank two requirements quick ejects good medium mag gives you a few more bullets you can fire before having to reload so that's good what i do find interesting actually is that it uh, uh, makes it seven bullets instead of five and the large one makes it ten instead of five but if you look at the um actual dispenser so for like this is a standard magazine this gives you five adding this, oh sorry, adding this <laughs> gives an extra two bullets, so that entire clip only gives two bullets, and this one gives an extra three on top of that, so it's kind of odd if you think about it, like it doesn't really look right, but that's the way it is, so it's alright. Uh, for the scope, we're actually going to go for a long scope, now I had the option of going for the night vision here, but we've already seen the night vision um, being used in the uh, laser musket one, so I figured let's just go for a long scope, keep it simple, also means you don't need science requirements, but again, this is something, if you want to go for a night vision scope, definitely go for the night vision, you can go for short and medium at the same rank, and for a long one you have to have gun nut rank 3. And for the muzzle, like I said in the previous one, we're not going to go for any muzzle here. I am going to go for the suppressor in the next one, but I'm not going to go for any muzzles here, because these ones just improve uh, per shot recoil and recoil control, and it's just not important enough to lose that range, especially with a sniper rifle. I think with the hunting rifle, it's not as important, because the the range is, is important, but not as much as with the sniper rifle. But um, yeah, so on this one, we just don't want to lose range if we can avoid it, so we're not going to go for a muzzle even on this one. So that is the Marksman's Calibrated Powerful Sniper Rifle. So now the uh, gun with the longest name in this series, the Marksman's Calibrated Powerful Sniper Rifle. So, again, uh, damage is the same because it's the, the same upgrade as we did the last one of the hunting rifle with the Calibrated Powerful, basically. Um, fire is the same in free. Range is 215, still the same. But the accuracy up to 112 because we now use a long scope, of course. Um, so, it's... The damage is still the same, but you'll see in VATS there's a, there's a tremendous difference there. Uh, it's actually absolutely insane the damage this thing does with um, VATS now because of the critical as well. Once again, the Raiders all go down with a regular uh, shot, and the Zoot Moon goes down in the same amount of time as the uh, previous gun as well because it has the same amount of base damage. But the critical here, you'll see the second shot is a critical, boom, dead. That is some pretty, pretty nasty damage right there. So we've seen the Marksman's Calibrated Powerful Sniper Rifle in action. It is time to do the final upgrades. So this is one that I've been looking forward to using. Because for the receiver, we can go all the way down and we can use the either .38 or .50 receiver now. I don't think anyone would ever want to go for the .38 receiver. Of course, the damage goes down for the sniper rifle, but it's fairly good damage for the .38. It's probably the highest you'll be able to get with the .38. Um, but it's just not worth it. Like, the .48 ammo is so plentiful, you just want to spam it out with an SMG or something like that. You don't want to waste it on a sniper rifle. It's just not worth it. But the .50 receiver, now that is something different. Exceptional damage changes ammo type to the .50 caliber, which of course will be more rare. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. If you don't have a whole lot of it yet, it might not be worth it. But once you do, or once you do get a lot of .50 ammo, this is obviously the upgrade, or the way to go. It has improved rate of fire as well, um, which is not that noticeable. I had actually people telling me in the comments of the hunting rifle video that they say that improved rate of fire is actually quite noticeable. It's there, but it's really not. I, I don't think it's worth it to go for it anyway, because people were saying that basically the uh, tuned receiver is pretty good because it ups the fire rate to four. 
Um, but I don't think it's worth it enough. But that's my opinion, of course. If you think that it's worth it, feel free to go for it. Anyway, so we're gonna go for uh, gonna go for the point fifty receiver, which also makes the gun sound like a freaking cannon blast, except for the fact that we're gonna put a, a silencer on it in a minute, which makes it ca sound kind of funny actually. But anyway, we're gonna go for a long ported barrel. The stock we're gonna go for a marksman stock. This is all pretty similar to the previous stuff. We're gonna go for a large quick eject mag. Um, because it's the largest we, we can get, and it's quick eject. Also requires gun not rank 3. I actually don't know if I mentioned this already, but yeah, these upgrades require gun not rank 3. For the sights, now we can go for um, either long night vision scope or the short or long recon scope. I'm going to go for the... Um, oh, actually, I'm going to go for the night vision. I said I wasn't going to use it, but I'm going to go for the night vision because the recon scope is the one we saw on the laser musket video already. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I was mistaken there. Um, so yeah, the recon scope we already uh, showed off, I already showed off on the laser musket video, so I figured I'd go for the long night vision on, on this one. Uh, they both require gun not rank 3, and science rank 1 as well. Um, and for the muzzle, we are going to go for the suppressor, so this does reduce the range by a tremendous amount. You can see 185, and this is 215, that's a difference of 30 range, which is quite a bit. Um, so this is definitely something that it's worth considering, obviously it's quite, it's useful um, in some way. And in other ways, I prefer the range, but eh, you lose a bit of range, but you uh, you you make it so that some enemies won't notice you when you're shooting their friends. So it, it's it's a it's a trade-off. You want to you either want to make or you don't, and it's a personal preference. I like using the suppressor. I mean, it, it's something different. Um, so that's the reason I wanted to go for that. And I know you guys are actually looking forward to me using the suppressor as well because you've told me several times. So that is the suppressed .50 sniper rifle. So it's time to find out how the suppressed 50 caliber sniper rifle does. I keep saying .50, by the way. I mean 50 caliber, of course. Anyway, uh, the ghouls go down pretty easily, but the damage up to 64 from 55 now. It's a pretty significant upgrade, up to n or nine damage bonus basically. Fire rate's gone up from three to four. It's the only time we've seen the upgrade in uh, fire rate. It it's not really that noticeable, but it is somewhat noticeable. But I don't think it's worth upgrading to the other receiver for it anyway. 185 range has of course gone down because of the silencer, 112 accuracy uh, has gone up I believe from the last one, or maybe it's the same, I can't remember, but it's very good anyway. You can actually notice we don't kill him in two shots because of the critical damage we lost from the previous gun, but it's still a very good gun. So of course we'll have a quick look at the comparison of all the guns, um, there's not really any surprises here, the last gun does the best, the one before that does the second best, etc, etc. Uh, there's not really too much of a difference between the second and the third gun though, the only difference is that the uh, second gun has to reload while the third one doesn't. Their base damage of course is the same, uh, so they generally do just about the same amount of damage, but the third one didn't have to reload while the second one did. Uh, but yeah, besides that, not really any surprising results here. Thank you all once again for watching another episode of Weapons of the Wasteland. As always, let me know which gun you'd like to see me mod next, and until then, have a good day and goodbye.